Hey, what's up everyone? Mike here with the watch list video for Friday, August 18th. I love day trading, but this is one of those weeks where I'm like, thank God it's Friday tomorrow because it has just been dead. Um, another down day in the SPY, firmly below the uh, the orange line there is a 50 day. So I'm definitely seeing a lot of weakness in the market as far as, you know, great setups for me and what I look for. Um, it's, it's a snoozer today. I've traded, uh, I woke up one time on Christmas morning and didn't realize it and turned on my charts and thought I'll trade a little bit, right? And then I realized it was Christmas. Um, it was a lot like that today. It was like Chris, It was like trading on Christmas Day. So uh, I don't have any highlights on, nothing really to talk about. I had a couple trades, uh, one flat, one slightly green, but nothing worth even really going over, to be honest with you. Um, so let's go into the watch list for tomorrow. EVLO, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. Um, you still kind of have a little cup and handle forming. It's a thin stock though, less than 200,000 shared today, but are traded today, but well, we'll see, right? Um, sleeper pick, PSQH, you could call EVLO a sleeper pick too. Um, PSQH had this crazy move, came back down, and certainly has found support, and it seems like it's trying to curl up out of this range. Again, um, <laughs> don't love that at all. This is how thin things are for me to find, you know, there's not, really nothing out there setting up really well right now. ACHR um, is one of them I took a trade in, and I think I made 20 cents a share on it today. Uh, anyway, it, it ended up, uh, did touch the 20 day today. It has had some good news lately, and you could argue it's holding up well relative to the market. So I will keep that one on a chart for tomorrow. Um, IDAI, very strong relative to the market. You kind of picture the horizontal line there. It's trying to break out. Squinky trader though, be careful with it. Um, LYTS, nice breakout today, I believe on earnings. You still have another kind of recent high. I don't know if you call that recent, but uh, back in March that it might, you know, it might make a run to that, to this high, and it might bust through it too. So you could have a scenario where we get a decent intraday setup, and you guys know it's, I'm an intraday trader. So if I don't get a setup, I won't be in it. Um, AAOI, um, again, one of the strongest stocks out there. We've now got three red days in a row. Um, did close below the open today, so there's another red day, but I'm gonna keep that one on bounce watch for tomorrow. I always try to watch the stocks that are you know recently strong. PSFE, I'm on the fence about this because you had the breakout and then two days down, you, you kind of have the gap fill now. So I am gonna put it on bounce watch, but I also look at this and say, hey, everyone that bought the breakouts underwater and everyone that bought the day after the breakouts underwater, everyone who got long today is underwater, right? But you do have good support below. So for that reason, I'm gonna put it on bounce watch. Who knows if it'll give a setup or not. Um, TSAT. Really big move here. You got a couple days lower on much lower volume. So I, I do kind of like this one, but it's still extended um, for a turn back up tomorrow. We'll see. EVLV, um, another kind of breakout. That's three days in a row, come back down. And you could, you could attribute some of this to the weakness in the market has brought down the strong stocks. This is back down to the 20 day. Pretty good candidate with what I think was a decent earnings report back here. <clears throat> Excuse me, a pretty good candidate for a turn back up tomorrow, especially if there's some market strength. BROS, see it, you see in a, a pattern here, strong breakouts and then stuff returning back to the 20 day. So that one goes on bounce watch tomorrow. VFS had this absolutely crazy move and now a nasty red day. Um, I wouldn't mind another red day to get us down to this area between the eight and the 20, but I am gonna start watching this for potential bounce tomorrow. Again, I'd like to see another red day, but we'll see. ETON. Very nice uh, three-day move up and then two days lower on declining volume. That one goes on bounce watch and then oust, O-U-S-T. Another kind of attempt at a breakout and a few days lower. A lot of these, again, are just kind of going in sync with the market. So if we get a market bounce tomorrow. Some of these bounce plays might give a decent setup. Um, Raw stores, R-O-S-T, is, is gapping um, on earnings and after hours, as is applied material. So... A um, couple potential gappers tomorrow there, ROST and AMAT. We can look at them real quick and then I'm out of here. Um, there's ROST daily. And then you can see in after hours what it did and I'll just show you applied materials, what it did in after hours. And there's the daily on that. So both of those could be on the gap playlist. We'll add other gappers as well in the pre-market tomorrow. I'm done battling, I'll see y'all in the chat room in the morning.